Hello and welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by tutvid.com and if you've made it this far you may just be entitled to some kind of great gift. I don't know what that gift is but it is part 12, the 12th and final part of the How I Retouch Photos Photoshop tutorial series with a particular focus on environmental portraits. Of course if you want to check out and learn how I did all this stuff to this image you can go back to part one and check it out. You can download this image, follow along, get all kinds of action packs and gradients, things like that that I share with you along the way. In fact, this time we're going to be talking about adding a layer of retouching grain and what that does as far as helping to get rid of all this banding that we have happening up here with our lens flare, color adjustment, um, and also helping smooth skin tones. I have an action that I've created that will just automatically place this grain and allow you to tweak it as you need it. Um, and you can download that in the description of this video. Also, I'm selling an entire course on how to retouch images over on tutvid.com. Boom. There you go. A link just appeared in the video. You can click on that and check it out. And if you pick it up, it supports tutvid.com. It's great. But of course, just watching this video and sharing it with your friends supports tutvid.com too. And I love you all the same. I mean, maybe I love you a little bit more if you support the site and you pick up the tutorial pack, but you know what I mean. All right, let's talk about grain. Um, like I said, you can start, you're starting to see some banding. I don't know if you can see it on the video, but it's definitely uh, present here. There's banding, and uh, a lot of great retouchers, you see them do this. They, uh, and by the way, I'm not a great retoucher, but a lot of the, the actual great retouchers, you'll see them add these layers of grain uh, because they really help smooth the tones of the image. So here's what we do. We create a new layer, and I'm going to name it grain, and then we go edit, fill, and up here in fill, we choose to fill it with the contents of 50% gray. Hit OK. Important note, you want to hit the letter D to make sure that your foreground and background color are set to black and white. Go filter, noise, add noise, and I'm going to add maybe 25%. 25% look good, maybe 30. Let's go 30%. Here's what's important. We need a reasonable amount of noise, enough that we can see it. Uh, we want distribution set to uniform, and we need to have monochromatic checked on. Okay. Now that we've placed this grain, we can set this layer to the blend mode of soft light. So this has dropped a ton of grain over our image. The problem is it's like very Photoshoppy grain. It's not nearly as random as I would like it. It's not nearly as chunky as I would like it. It has, by the way, I would just like to note, has taken away virtually all of that banding that I was concerned with a moment ago. Uh, but here's what we're going to do. In order to make this a little bit more randomized and change things up a little bit, we're going to duplicate the grain layer by hitting Command or Control. J and I'm going to name this grain bigger and what we're going to do on this layer is we're going to do just that we're going to scale the grain up command or control T and I'm going to hold down my shift and option those will be shift and alt on the PC keys and just scale my grain up to about 200% you can see up here in the transform bar 204.78 by 204.78 whatever that's fine go ahead and hit check to apply that and we're going to get bigger you know like fluffier grain um, it's really interesting and if we want it to be a little bit um, rougher like we want this big grain to be more rough and not quite so pillowy and soft we can go and do something like filter sharpen and just hit sharpen and it'll just like really you know give our grain a little bit more like zip and sizzle or whatever I don't I don't know what I'm trying to describe but it just makes it a little uh, crunchier one of the other things I like to do just so it's really not lined up is just go ahead and flip the grain so command or control control T again right click and choose flip horizontal and it really is just gonna change up the way that your grain looks so now when we zoom in you can see I uh, yes it's way too much grain but it's all over the place it's you know fluffy and not fluffy and uh, you know every, everything we do and don't want the last thing you do is you start reducing opacity. So we're going to take grain bigger. We're going to reduce the opacity to probably like, I don't know, 20%. And grain, the little grain, will re uh, reduce his opacity also to about 20%. So yes, we've added a bunch of grain. Maybe actually I'll reduce the opacity a little bit more. Maybe like 12 and 12, something like that. Okay. And now what this is doing is... If we zoom in a lot and we shut the grain off altogether, you can see that it's it, it, the, the skin texture, for instance, almost looks unfinished. As soon as we put the grain on, it just adds like every little bit of like imperfection that should be there, but also makes the skin look totally perfect at the same time. It just really helps blend everything together and pull everything together and give it one consistent final coat of polyurethane, whatever, you know, that just goes over it and makes everything look beautiful. It's that, it's that final coat of epoxy that you just pour out on top and let it be perfectly glass smooth. It's over the entire image. But it also does things like combats banding and gradients and banding if you have a mask that has a big area that you're painting, you know, white or black or whatever. The edges, sometimes you'll see this banding. Um, it happens with gradients. It happens with the brush tool, uh, especially when you're working on big images in Photoshop. 
grain helps to kill that stuff off. So all we need to do, select both of these layers. I clicked one, hold down shift, click the other, command or control G to group them together. We can call this grain and that's it. You're ready to save this image out. Obviously, save the PSD so you don't lose your work, but you're ready to save out a large or a smaller JPEG, and you have a fully retouched image. Let's see before. Hold down Alt or Option. Click on that bottom layer. This was the image right into the camera from Camera Raw. Do you even remember this image? I hardly do. Hold down Alt or Option. Click it again, and it brings us to our final image, just like this. And, of course, if you want to apply any last-minute changes, you can but you probably should have hopefully gotten that right along the way. So for walking through an entire 12 part tutorial, and by the way, share this tutorial, share this tutorial series with your friends, show people how to retouch images in a way that's good, in a way that looks nice, at least in a way that I think is good, in a way that I think looks nice. So for retouching environmental portraits and walking through steps one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 10, 11, you guessed it, 12, that's it. Get it? Got it? Good. Nathaniel Dodson, ToddVid.com. I'll catch you in the next one. Today I've got a quote from the creator of the Dilbert comics, Scott Adams, where he says, ideas are worthless, execution is everything. Do you think that's true? It's an amazing quote. I still think there's a lot of value in great pre-production, but of course, all the pre-production and all the theorizing in the world without actually executing your idea, yeah, it's worthless. So make sure you like this video tutorial. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also, go ahead and check out my newsletter. When you sign up for the newsletter, I send you a free tutorial video course, 30 tips and tricks to working in Photoshop faster and more effectively. You're absolutely gonna love it, it's amazing. You can also follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. I'm on all the social media platforms. Until the next video, I will catch you guys later.